Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you like my channel, please like and subscribe. There's a notifications bell down in the corner. So first and foremost, we're gonna start this off with coffee. Grab your coffee cup, grab a little sugar, and we'll start off like that. So first, I wanna talk about something awesome. So there was, I auctioned off Cold Morning, the painting. Hi, Uday. Hi, Little Cookie. And because of that and people that sent from the outreach list, um, hi, Original Fireman, I want to show you what we were able to do. So this is a little paper bag. There is a water in here. There is a Mylar blanket. There is hot hands a snack, and some socks. We have 54 of these bags. Granted, there are some without water because I ran out of water, but 54 of these bags. And then, so that's 54 people who can have a Mylar blanket and stay warm. So these are 54 packs of warmth. Then we've got this right over here. And this is a nice warmy blanket. They're actually moving blankets, but they're pretty lightweight. They're super warm and they're able to be washed, unlike the disaster blankets. So this is super amazing and they're big, huge blankets. And we were able to get 24 of those. So thank you. That is almost 80 people that we are able to give warmth to, send love to, and it was all spurred by you guys and the painting, and it was wonderful, and I'm so excited about it, like super, super excited. So that is that, and I wanted to thank uh, Web Surfer Guy and Cisco and Julie and the Q family and uh, William H., uh, for all of your help and support and I just can't even how much I appreciate it I am so grateful to have just this amazing network and you guys so much thanks truly truly um, so that's that so I'm going to start on this awesome dessert guy hi watching here from Arizona hello okay so what I've got and this is actually one of my favorite desserts uh, good morning, Ahmed. So I've got green apples here. I've got four of them. And then, because it was just, uh, thank you very much. Actually, this sweatshirt here is from the Q family. She sent me that. It was really wonderful, and I love it. <laughs> um, thank you, resource girl. So I've got the green apples here. And because it was Halloween, of course, you got Halloween candy on sale afterwards. And so I've got a bunch of little Snickers and Reese's peanut butter cups here, right? I've also got a little bit of sugar and I've got some heavy whipping cream. And I'm going to show you how to turn that into an amazing dessert. Um, Noreen. Oh, hi, Amazing Grace. Noreen, your videos are so inspirational. Amazing. Do you shout out to my daughter? Hi, Hannah. Hi, Keisha. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you like this dessert. So what I've got here is I've got a peeler and I'm just going to peel my apples. So here I go. I am just like, I, I was super excited. I wanted to wait till the blankets got here. Actually, they just arrived like in the last couple days before I got back on here because I wanted to show you guys what we were able to get uh, and what we're just what we're able to do as humans when we all come together. Like I, I was even surprised, you know, almost 80 people will have some form of warmth and not just totally. I'm super stoked about it. Um, I'll be dropping a load off of 12 of them and a bunch of bags to Laura at Seattle Dogs to hand out to her um people that she sees regularly at her encampment. So it's, it's super exciting. And I just want to tell you guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see. Hi, Delia. Hi, Austin. Hi, Carol. So I'm just going to peel these apples. Okay. 
Okay. And just so everybody knows, I like my live format. So I'm going to continue to do live. <laughs> I know it would be quicker to do this just video and then edit it all. But I like having the live comments and being able to interact with people. It's a really important thing for me. Um, one thing we are going to do, and I will um, in another blog tell you about that, is we are going to have a meeting with uh, William Higgins from Homeless Alliance for All that we will be answering some questions on advocacy and kind of what we do within the demographic. Hi, Scott. Okay. So I'm on the last apple. See, resource girl. I love the live and I'm a night owl, so good timing, right? <laughs> well, by the time I get settled and everything, and you know, I'm I'm able to like sit and think about what I want to do as far as a vlog, it's usually later. Um, yeah. Oh, and today the donation of the um the paper bags went out today to the West Seattle Food Bank. So that was super exciting. Um, we were able to give them those. Um, okay, so next we got our apple, right? Let's see. Original fireman, do I have a P.O. box so I can send you something? I actually don't have a P.O. box right now. I really should get one. Um, new, I'm sorry, um, but good point. I will, I will work on that. <laughs> Okay, so really what I'm doing is I'm just quartering them, right? So that one I, I was talking and cutting at the same time. So you split them in half and then you quarter them. So just go ahead and quarter your apples and then we'll pour. And then after you cut your apples in two, uh, qu after quarters, let's see. Let's see, it's afternoon, and while doing tour July, I'm watching a live video. Oh, awesome, Noreen. So it's right in the afternoon for you. So that's wonderful. <laughs> Everybody's on different times. Um, hi, Matt. Good evening. Hi, Pablo. Greetings from Argentina. Greetings from Seattle. I'm over here making a mess of stuff. And actually, coming up this weekend, I believe, is when we will be setting up Christmas stuff. And um, I will be doing that with the grandchildren. So definitely, it'll be fun for kids. Um, let's see. Add oil, Mandy. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Um, we're not going to add oil to this particular oil um, whipped cream and candy, like I said, and sugar. <laughs> Let's see. Um, beautiful. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Um, it's definitely, um, you know, because those of you who follow know that um, my daughters move closer and now I have my grandkids on the weekends. And so things have been super busy and, um, you know, I'm doing more and more as far as, um, work goes and so it's been super busy and I'm like trying to adjust to all the changes but honestly sometimes even though it's wonderful wonderful those of us and I think all of us whether you struggle with mental illness or not I think all of us you know have issues with you know change and it doesn't matter whether it's good stress or you know it's definitely good stress don't get me wrong it's great stress I think that um it has an impact. And I think that it would be, 
it would be remiss of me to think that it didn't and to not take that into account as to maybe why I have been kind of just a little out of sorts. Um, hi. Okay, so I'm going to take these chunks right here, right? And I am going to put this down here so you can see what I'm doing. How about that? So I got my quarter right here. Chit chat. All right. And I'm just cutting it into fours. So yeah, there and then dicing it. So you just dice your apples. And some of these are not totally uniform, but whatever. As you can tell, my knife skills <laughs> need some work. That's okay though. That's why it's making a mess in the kitchen with Manda and not professional chef time. <laughs> Let's see, uh, hello to the other person. Uh, can we use red apples? You can. I like using green apples myself just because um, it te it's a real sweet dessert. It's got those candies in it. So it actually just kind of adds a little bit of tart, but you absolutely can add red apple, any kind of apple you want. Um, another good one, I think, um, but I wouldn't really, um, I would use more of a peanut butter candy or a peanut candy is a honey crisp apple. But with that, you're gonna want, um, you know, more of a, more of a salty, just to kind of even out the sweetness of that apple. Because these ones, uh, Granny Smiths are, are pretty tart. Let's see. Uh, what am I making? I am making a green apple dessert salad. And right now, I am just cutting the apples, trying to do this uniformly as much as possible. <laughs> well, I mean, it's totally possible, but as much as I want to. I was just kind of giving everybody updates on just how excited I am. Like, seriously, it was a big deal to me to be able to provide, you know. And it's not just me. That's the thing is none of us are in this world alone. It takes all of us to make this difference. But it really excites me that, it, you know, we were able to. But it's all because of you. <laughs> And we had Brian up from Phoenix who was able to be all around and help out as much as possible, <laughs> as much as I let anybody help me. You mentioned that those blankets are highly, highly perfect, so they would water really well as well as your painting. I do not know that. I only know that I was handed one. <laughs> That's it. Like my experience with that is that I just will never ever forget the guy. I was so cold. I was so cold, so cold. And he was a mover. And he's like, I guess um, his son had had an issue um, with substance abuse. And he's like, I just want to come over here and let you know it doesn't matter. Like you're worthy and you're worth it. And like had me in tears. And then goes and gets these moving blankets. And from that point, that was the best blanket I had. Like, really, for warmth and being able to keep the moisture out and stuff. Because your tent gets, like, condensation in the wintertime. Yeah, it was great. So I always make sure I don't order those. You can't wash those disaster blankets. They fall apart. So, because they're made, I don't know what they're made out of. But these ones are good. Are you trying with the Mylar? Uh, no, the Mylar are good. The mylar are good. And one of the better things actually with mylar is um, if I had an extra one, I could show you, but I really don't want to take an extra one from anybody. <laughs> like, okay, so I got my apples all diced. 
And now I'm gonna make my whipped cream. So what I'm gonna do, I have about a cup of whipped cream in here. And, um, hi, little cookie. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, Peony, hi. <laughs> Is it warm there? <laughs> Um, honey crisp is mucho expensive. It's so good. We're very lucky here because Washington grows apples that we're able to get a lot of those. Like even at the food bank, I've got lots of apples, which is really great because my grandchildren absolutely adore apples. So yay. Um, what are the Snickers for? That's why it's a dessert salad, right? Because it's going to be yummy with the chocolates and stuff. <laughs> um, See, I said hi to that other person. Hi, Brian. <laughs> I will be honest. I have been rather, I'm, I'm selfish about my channel and because it is about um, me and what I think and things like that. So, like, people can do cameos, but I'm kind of like. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to push me out of the group, basically. How about you? <laughs> about you. <laughs> so I got my mixer here, right? And I got a cup of, um, of heavy whipping cream and I've got about a tablespoon of sugar in there. I don't want to add much sugar because it's already going to be pretty sweet. So we just mix that up and <laughs> thank you, Mary. Um, Ah, I wish I knew how to, it's like, I don't know other languages and it sucks so bad. Um, I wish I did. Um, hello from UK. Hi, I'm Ed. <laughs> okay, here we go. Doing what is, here we go. Wait, whoop. Ha ha. Um, and we just mix that until it gets thick, right? Dirty, I'm a mess than it could me. I am though. I just try really hard when I'm live not to be. Okay, when you're whipping it now, you want to be able to see that it's thickening, thickening up, and you'll see like your mixture leaving like little marks in it. Okay, so pretty much well, it's that. See how it's not going anywhere? That's how thick you want it. Okay, now I'm gonna address some comments. Um, Mama Mode, what's up? Uh, look for your Instagram page, can't find it. Um, I put my, my Instagram is, uh, I am doing well, I am. I am, and there it is, there's the Instagram one. Um, I'm very, I'm very thankful right now. Like, um, you know, I, I wasn't sure what to do to raise uh, funds and uh, supplies for those that were unhoused and, you know, painting the picture went better than I thought. And I just, I'm overwhelmingly gra grateful that we're going to be able to just, you know, provide that. And I'm also like super grateful because Brian's going to take me over to see Laura tomorrow and I haven't seen her forever. So I'm like, mm, yay. Um, let's see. Uh, hi, Anna. I really can't find it. But have you ever thought about teaching or working with kids? You're so bubbly and I'm sure kiddos love you. Um, here's the thing. <laughs> I have three grandchildren that are three 
two and one. And I have them three days a week. So, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I spend a lot of time around little kids. And I honestly, Including yeah, right. I'm right. And I just, I, I love them to death. I just don't know that it would be my um, chosen profession. It's a very, I, I have a lot of respect for people who work with children. It's, it's difficult. And when you have different ages and there's a lot of needs there. And so it's, it's definitely a thing. Um, but, you know, here's the thing. I also was a single parent of three kids. So any way that I can support their mother in rocking it as hard as she is, I will do that. She is doing amazing, amazing. She is working full time, um, more than full time. She's taking over time. She is getting a place for her and the babies. Like, yeah, she's really doing amazing, well. amazing. So. Yeah. So um, anything I can do to support that and show her love and, and make sure that she knows that, you know, she is a part of this family and we adore her and the children will any anything I can do. So if that means sometimes, you know, I get real tired <laughs> from the babies and that means I get tired. Um, let's see. Look well, glad to see you. Thank you. Uh, hi, Seattle Judy. Nice to see you. Um, how have you, I hope you've been well. Um, yeah, it's been dreary over here. <laughs> like, oh, our winter sometimes can be kind of kind of dreary, and it gets dark so early that it can kind of be just a pain. So. What I'm doing right now is I am, uh, I am like unwrapping the candy <laughs> and trying really hard not to lick my fingers while I do it because ah, it's kind of melty. <laughs> Raining all day in New York City, right? Oh, see, and it, it was, it's just cold and it's been like, oh, it's been all sorts of dreary, like drizzle, rain, blah, but. Here's the thing, I can't fault it because even in the rain, it's beautiful. I just don't like the cold at all. <laughs> um, okay, I'm almost done, guys. <laughs> I had to, it was, so, it was like stuck there. Mm -hmm. Kira Ira, and how are you? Hi, Susie Q. Kia Ira. I hope I pronounced that right. How are you? Nice to see you. Like, but I do not. <laughs> I do not like cold. Cold makes me hurt so badly. Like, I just, it, it makes it unbearable, and which makes me upset. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I retired since I last saw you. Remember? Yep, yep, I do. Uh, hey. Kia Province, hello. Oh, awesome, thank you. Uh, hi, Marcos. I do remember you, Seattle, that you worked with the homeless, and I hope you are doing well, and I hope that this time is real stressful for everybody, and I just hope that I find you doing just amazing. Um, let's see, yeah, I see it. Hey, Seattle. hey, I love your cooking lives. Thank you, Kia Ora. Kia Ora. Candy, yes, that's what got it. it's so good. I'm gonna put this down. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you, Susie Q. Okay, I'm gonna put this down so you guys can see what I'm doing to this candy. Thanks. The research girl, hello. <laughs> okay, here we go. So you can see all the wrappers here. I took all the wrappers off. So I'm just taking these and I'm just rough chopping it, right? Because we just want like candy pieces all up in there. Deliciousness. And I've had it out, so it's pretty soft, you know, room temperature. But I really like the Snickers because it's got some nuts in it. And I was looking for my pecans, but I could not find them. And I think I might have eaten them. <laughs> because I really, really like nuts. <laughs> and I actually started eating so many nuts after my brain injury when I thought, I, you know, they carry omegas. And so, and I'm not much on fish, so I found that... Um, 
but I love, 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 love nuts. So I'm ripped out. So pretty much chop, chop, chop the candy, rough chop. Because you don't want big chunk. You want to be able to taste everything. I mean, you don't want, you know, you don't want to overpower it with one ingredient or the other. You want a nice balance. So this is like the reason that this is one of my favorites is because it's got like the best. So here's your candy, right? I'm just going to put that in there. I'm going to do the responsible adult thing and rinse my hands. <laughs> you know, instead of licking them off. <laughs> uh, let's see. Excuse me. I volunteer my old age to cause this so needed, but not as many hours. You know, anything anybody can do. Like, I don't, you know, anything is better than just nothing. And I think that you are... You are worthy of some rest too. Um, let's see, I can't just sing what's going on. Making a salad. Um, I can 10 pounds in nine months if I make this anyway. <laughs> right. I know too. I know that, you know, well, whatever. It's yummy. Um, and that's first time poking my head here. Not high. Nice to see you. Okay. So I'm just taking like this because I don't. I don't want to like smush any, you know, the chocolate into, I want to make sure that that uh, whipped cream kind of stays a little stable too while I'm mixing it. So you're not going to like beat it hard. You're just going to kind of mix it up. And because I knew, I got these the other day. And they are butterscotch chips. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you've ever had one yet. They're you've never fun. had a but. Oh my gosh, they're delicious. Um, also, I'm going to take a handful of butterscotch chips and add it to it. Because, you know, why not? And have fun with it. Like, for me, if I wasn't, you know, going to share it with everybody that doesn't necessarily like the same ingredients. I'd be adding coconut and pecan and just have fun with this dessert. It's really great. It's got all the elements. It's creamy. It's tart. It's sweet. When you get everything in one bite, it's like perfect. So this is what it looks like. And you can make it dress it up too. It doesn't have to be so plain Jane, but you know, it's super, super yummy. Try it out. Um, I think you'll like it. I do. Let's see. Um, what's your story? And I'm delighted you're doing well after everything you went through. Yeah, it, you know, you just, I keep saying to people, you got to be better instead of bitter. Like you can't, you got to move forward. And hopefully when you do move forward, you don't forget about the people that are still there. So I think that's really important as well. Um, Hodu, I do not, I, unfortunately, I do not speak other languages. Um, and it doesn't let me like copy and paste so that I can see what I, that is like one of a big thing that I have, like YouTube out there. You should let me copy and paste into a translator so that I know what people are saying. Cause that would be really wonderful. This is a global audience. So I think it would be amazing. Um, I need at 7 a.m. and I'm already hungry. Seeing the preparation. <laughs> Thank you. Um, exactly resource girl better not better it's just you know we gotta look for it there's hope you know what if you're if you go to bed with plans for the next day that's that's the biggest kind of hope you can have is just faith that you're gonna wake up and be able to do those plans whether you're excited about them or not and i think that in that you know we we can make that choice in that hope and in that faith to do better the next day and just do better the next day, the next hour, whatever. If you have an episode, like I had a complete meltdown the other day, like full on 
three-year-old banging head tantrum. And <laughs> that's part of it. You get on and you move ahead and, you know, you, you do better. You try to do better, you know, or, you know, you let your psychiatrist know. <laughs> um, Bling Pink, do you like BTS or Black Pink? Mm, I, I don't know exactly what you're asking. Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, that's why you're feeling. Oh, thank you, Mama Mode. I appreciate that. So, you guys, this is it. Um, I hope you are as excited as me about the stuff being handed out that's going out this week. And I just want to send all my gratitude and love. Thank you so much. Like, seriously, guys, like, you know, within two weeks, we're going to keep almost 80 people warm. I mean, that's a big deal. It's a big deal. Um, Sissy Q, you're so happy. It's great to see you're awesome. Wahinto, with what you've been through, being a woman warrior in our New Zealand mall, really. Thank you, Sissy Q. That means, you guys, if you just don't know how much that means to me, it means so much to me. Um, Let's see, a print time in it. What time do you normally sleep? Um, usually it, I go to bed after I take, I have night meds that I take, and usually I go to bed about about 11, sometimes 11.30. Um, if the grand, when, if, when the grandbabies are here, I do try to get to bed a little earlier because I, I do like to have a cup of coffee and I want to make sure that, you know, it's when I wake up, I'm, I'm ready and refreshed to deal with that, not deal with them, but, you know, make breakfast, have a sunny disposition, you know, make sure that they're waking up is like the best too. You know, they're waking up feeling loved and secure and excited for whatever breakfast I'm going to make. So, you know, on, on days like this, then, you know, um, let's see. I've been under a lot of depression. Every time I watch you build this spirit. So thank you, Mary. I hope so. You know, I I think we just all hope that we have a positive impact on this world. Um, let's see, you're a Wahini Toa. I, oh, I wish I could talk to you because then I could hear it. I'm going to look it up though. Um, bless you back. Resource field. Always glad to catch you here. Have a great night. I will, you guys. And I will be back in the next couple of days. And I just appreciate you guys. And I hope you make the salad because it's super yummy. Like, just just try it. Just one second. Twice in the city. Oh. Hi, Tarkan. Okay, guys. I'm going to head out. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Bye.